one false move and you would just slide straight through that. He knows how to sell a coffee, I'll tell him that. You could sell ice to the Eskimos, my friend. Wow. Good morning guys and welcome back to another video here in Hansa Valley today. We're going on an exploration with the boys. We've got Mr. Candy, we've got Mr. Posh 1, Mr. Posh 2. And today we're first going to have some breakfast, some omelette. And then we're heading to a suspension bridge, which is known to be one of the most dangerous bridges in Pakistan, if not the world. Yes. Yeah? So hopefully, inshallah, we don't die today. Are you excited, yeah. brother? Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> You're looking cold. A little, little chilly, but, uh, you know, we're, we're alive. No days off. So. <laughs> no days off, guys. Gonna go for the old wrap up uh, omelette in a paratha. Guys, I know you don't need to tell me in the comments this is not the right way to eat it, but it's however you want to eat it. It's the best way to eat it. Ooh. Oh, the knife's got a mind of its own. <laughs> very soft, very crunchy, very uh, cooked very well. And then the omelette, you guys already know. I've had omelette for the past week and I'm still not tired of it because it's so good. For four meals, for me and Mac, uh, two dinners and two breakfasts is 4,800, which is about $27. So very good value for money. And also very, very good food. Some of the best food we've had in Pakistan. And yeah, like I'm sure you guys would have seen the food we had, excessive amounts of food. We, I don't think we finished any of the meals, but they were just really, really nice. So nice, so yeah, very happy with that. And uh, yeah, had an amazing stay at uh, Moksha Resort. Okay, Chalo, Shobosh, thank you very much. You, great food and great um, hospitality here. Thank you, sir. Off to the next location, which is the suspension bridge. I'm very excited to go to this place. I've heard great things about it. I'll let uh, the big boy take the front seat. Hello, Mr. Posh. Hello, Hello, Sire. Hello there, Sire. Hi, hey, Cal. Moo, moo. <laughs> we are, we are here. That was a very quick drive, and uh, apparently the rest of the the journey we have to walk. Okay, guys. So, a hundred rupees to get in. That's uh, nearly one dollar, and. Ooh, shit. Cool little fact is, this bridge is obviously, I've said before, one of the most dangerous bridges in Pakistan, if not the world. And uh, it was built by the locals here. And some people still, obviously a lot of the locals still use it, but now it's become a tourist attraction because of how cool and dangerous it is. But uh, the locals still obviously use it. And some of the school kids, apparently, and the locals, they, re they run across it because they're, they're that used to it, but apparently the gaps between the steps are so big that uh, it's very dangerous to do that. So I don't think I'm going to be running it, but uh, guys, just look at those views. When the sun is like just coming out over the mountains and hitting those, those, um, those mountains, it just looks crazy. And uh, I think out of all the mountains here, these are my favorite because they're like, so jagged. This just looks crazy. Okay, looks like we're coming down to the river now. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. The guys are just ahead of me. Wow, that looks so cool. And also, guys, I'll probably get a lot of comments saying, oh, like, why didn't you come in summer? And it's because the advantages of coming in the winter are there's nobody here. Well, there's one person there. Maybe that's the local. And we have Mr. Candy. Hello. Guys, this is crazy. Oh my god. I've never seen anything like it. Okay. Please cooperate. No more than seven people on the bridge. Well, I think we're alright. How do I even get on? Do I have to go across this? Even this bit's dangerous. I'm gonna zip all my pockets up. 
Okay guys, time to cross. We've got the Mac candy going first. No, 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 I'll, I'll do it when we get to the other side. We've got like a nice little boat there. Okay, I'm gonna grab onto the side. I don't think you'd die if you fell, but... It's just so easy to fall. Like, one, one false move and you would just slide straight through that. And to be honest, that, that water is almost, you can see there, it's freezing. So, I don't want to go today. Also, I don't want to drop the GoPro, that would be another disaster. Dink. The chances of me falling in quite slim, I'd have to be an idiot. But, the chances of me dropping my GoPro or another item is very high. Oh, actually, <laughs> this is sketchier than I thought because it's just like, it's uh, very rickety. I'm holding, I'm only holding one hand because my GoPro, it's free, my hands are freezing and I have to lift them up. This wood doesn't seem so strong. Yeah. I don't know how the locals run across this, honestly. They're used to it, right? Yeah. Crossing like a deli. True. I'll tell you one thing, guys. Don't have any beer rianis and try to cross this. If this wood broke, I would be in a lot of pain. Minus five today, guys. Whoa, this is a big step. Oh my god. How you doing back there, hair man? I'm surviving, brother. <sighs> Red. <laughs> I've got gloves and just don't know why I'm not wearing them. But remember, guys, as Mac was saying, this is just conquering your fear, getting outside your comfort zone. Life begins at the end of your comfort zone and fear is only bad for one person and that's you. So many people have said, don't go to Pakistan, don't eat this, don't drink that, don't, don't go for tea with locals, don't speak to locals. But if you just stop fearing things and do it, you will enjoy life a lot more than you think. Anyway, rant over. Hopefully I don't die on this bridge. Otherwise that would be ironic, me talking about fear. <laughs> We've got Mr. Candy shaking the bridge. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> <Whoa. dangerous>, right, <laughs> <laughs> this has turned into a roller coaster ride. Okay guys, I'm getting a bit confident now. Oh God, I'm not. This seems to be less sketchy. I'm walking slightly faster. Yeah. I kind of found my rhythm. Oh my god, my hands. I think I've got frostbite. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh yeah, guys. Picking up some speed now. I'm gonna catch up with Mr. Candy soon. Oh, that's a big step. Oh. Boys, also guys. Someone told me, what, what a guy once told me, when you're walking, always most important thing is to look around to see the views from where you came. And they are pretty spectacular. I definitely think that's my favorite view though. Guys, comment down below whether you do this. Especially this bit. This is the biggest river so far. If I'm falling in this, I am, I'm out for the day. That water must be between one and five degrees Celsius. So cold. Just look at these views, guys. The water is like here is like. Again, like a greeny turquoise colour. The mountains with the sun coming out over them. The reflection of the mountains in the water. It's just crazy. Makes you forget that you're on a life-threatening bridge. 
We're nearly there guys. Nearly made it. Oh, and this is where I think if I wasn't able to hold on to anything, that would be sketchy. That would just be the ultimate ultimate dangerous bridge. But if you hold on to something. Alas! 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 And we've got the British coming in third place! Haha, <laughs> wouldn't expect anything less. You made me wait. Haha, <laughs> yeah, now he says it. Cheers, man. We made it! Huzzah! <laughs> got the hair man going for dips. Just tell me the angle, it's okay. Guys, I haven't been getting many Ch gym chicken. sessions in. That's good, yeah. So, there's always time for a gym session. No days off the gym, guys. <laughs> Getting yoked. <laughs> oh, that's actually oh, storage me up. full. guys bad news I was uh, flying my drone and then some uh, locals started talking to me one of them was from England and I just lost concentration was flying the drone whilst talking to them and then crashed the drone into that side over there and so we're going back over now to see what the damage is I don't think it was too bad because I was flying I wasn't flying too quick but there could be some bad damages, I don't know. Luckily, I've got all the drone shots we need from the trip. Assalamu alaikum. Kese ho? Kik. Alhamdulillah. You stuck? Yes. <laughs> Good luck, my friend. Okay. <laughs> and uh, Max flying his drone, so. I just got it fixed as well. And it's like fairly new. So, as long as it's not like completely screwed, I don't mind if a few propellers are broken, as long as it's not like on, I do have insurance for it, but I'm not sure if it will cover the most dangerous bridge in Pakistan. So the sun's come out now guys, so it's uh, manageable, the weather, my hands aren't freezing anymore. Hey guys, so we're just making our way across for about quarter, three quarters of the way back and uh, this first bit seems to be the most sketchiest because it's very very rickety and the hand railing isn't very strong so I can see why people don't really want to don't really want to go across here where's the drone where's my drone what? I crashed my drone yeah. Where? Over here. No, you flew back over there. So bad news has turned into worse news. We went all the way to that side and they were like, oh no, when it crashed it it picked back up and then flew over to this side because that's where I started it from. So then we came over to back to this side to try and find it and people over this side said, Oh, we saw it hovering above the water and so it must have lost battery over the water over this water here but i think it was just like on the on the edge anyway we went all the way walked all the way down there see whether it had like been picked up anywhere and uh couldn't find it so that is a drone lost fortunately i have insurance i think that covers me hopefully i don't know if it covers me for um 
one of the most dangerous bridges in Pakistan, but inshallah, it's fine. I have, I think I still have the footage on my phone of the, of the, of what I took in the crash and stuff, so that would be good evidence, but, but yeah, it's just annoying. If I if it had been left where I crashed it, it would have been fine. But it decided to just come back home. It's fine, guys. It's fine. It's all right. Look, I basically it like crashed over there, and so we thought it would like be over there, and then because I started it from over there, yeah. it somehow recovered, mm -hmm. flew back over there, and then lost power over there just on like the edge of the river and then the river taken but I was in doubt like I can tell you like this is yours I like my left bro it's my fault can't blame anyone else sometimes you just gotta you just gotta deal with failure stare it right in the face and uh, it's a lesson learned guys because I've never crashed a drone so it's the first time for everything and now I will take care of my drones Last location was just over there, um, but the people, it was like just, it was just on the boundary of the yeah. stones and the river and, and it was quite a, like a fast paced part of the river, so the river's just taking it. Oh, See you soon. I, I took you on Bali, you know, yeah, nice either to London you. or here. We'll meet. Awesome man, care, man. nice to meet you. Al Hafiz. You guys, some really nice people. They helped me look for the drone. Um, yeah, just miscommunication. And also I should have just um, not panicked when I crashed it because it obviously recovered. And then um, when I disconnected it to come and look for it that's, when it, that's when it returned to home. And then it just didn't know where home was. Landed in the fucking river. Is what it is. I'm not gonna let it spoil my trip, Mr. Mac. What? Not gonna let it spoil my trip, am I? No, no way. These things happen. And guys, what you can do to help right now is give a, a like, subscribe, and a comment. And then hopefully that'll help me buy a new drone. Because I have a trip coming up in January, which I need a new I need a drone for, so it's gonna be a quick turnaround. But anyway, besides that. The bridge was incredible, such a cool place and really cool, like not that dangerous when you have done it a couple of times so I can see why the locals see it as like a normal thing. There was actually some locals crossing but I was looking for my drone so I didn't really film it. But yeah, cool to see. And what the nice thing is Mr Akram here who uh, knows a fair few people here, is that right? Yeah. What he did is he put a Facebook post out saying, uh, Asalaamu Alaikum, saying if anyone sees, I crashed my drone into the Husseini bridge, if anyone sees it, please contact me. And apparently the people here, if they find it, they will definitely return it to him. So that's very nice. Although I'm not sure what condition it will be in, but still very nice gesture. Yes, chai, coffee, boil and uh, welcome to Saini Suspension Bridge from uh, Saini Coffee Shop. Oh, and I have uh, <laughs> a chai, Pakistani chai. Ooh, the best because chai? Because it is very warm. Uh -huh. Therefore, the but uh, uh, foreigner is coming uh, like coffee. Ooh, because uh, yeah. then uh, the setup is uh, coffee style. So all of the customers coming here right to the there is my memory. Oh, Whoa. my customer. Everywhere. Yes, uh, my customer coming here, write his name and date. So, where I come from? So, put here. So, where I come from? United States and United Kingdom. US. UK, US. US, yes. US is a lot of, and uh, UK is a lot of here. A few other Americans. So, here. this one is uh, Houston. maybe the Netherlands. Harvard. Netherlands, Holland, Holland yeah. Turk. We got Turkey. UK. Here. Uh -huh. UK, this one is UK, no? rupees. Poland, mm -hmm. oh, Canada. We got Poland. Oh here. wow, there's so many people. Yes, wow. all of customers coming You're here. You're a popular, right. popular man. Oh, that's a long I'm name. Ali Khan. 
We'll call you the Hunza legend. Hunza legend, okay. Oh, okay. Sun oh, wow. smoking a cap trap. They literally think it's Russia. Yeah. Vietnam. Yeah. Dollar. Yeah. Qatar. Yeah. UAE. Yeah. Wow. So always must have hundreds, thousands. Great collection. Great, great collection. Yes. Uh, ooh. This is the espresso coffee. Uh, long black coffee. Do you have hot chocolate? Really chocolate? I have no. So the, uh, my specialty is this one uh, with handshake beats from coffee. Is it good? Yes. Okay. Sweet. It's very sweet. Good. Sweet. It's all yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cappuccino style. So okay. One. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Nick. And what do you call it? Huh? What do you call it? They call it What's the, coffee. What, the name? Uh, oh, coffee. Cap oh. Cappuccino coffee style. Oh, awesome. The, the and uh, sugar along with the and TK. Uh, coffee too. okay so beet seed okay let's do it okay. TK. you like yes please one uh yes please uh so, so this is my style is uh amjad ali khan my name is amjad ali khan you're a famous man amjad Amjad. Amjad Ali Khan. so amjad is that milk in there amjad ali khan is my great name so it is the most glorious and uh, so uh, we now we can prepare to for your specialty coffee Ooh. and uh, so it looks like that's peanut butter yeah yes that's very can rich. i smell it beets and handbag hand beets what's it what's in it perfect what's what's the perfect isn't it oh wow nescafe yeah. oh. and what else nescafe mix? nescafe beets Oh, hand. it's just mixed. A hand. Oh, homemade handshake. You put some eggs in there as well? Oh. Eggs in the coffee? Uh, and uh, you like eggs? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I can... Uh, that's uh, very... Weather is very cold. The Pakistani people will hot boil eggs eat. Oh, okay. You don't put it in the coffee? The, yes. The coffee is for uh, uh, coming. Mm. Wow. So this one is... Oh, so you can smell it. it. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. He's getting that thing all stirred up. Mixing it in there. It's got more of a frozen texture, doesn't it? Fresh uh, coffee. Fresh and Yes, good. you can smell it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, baby. Nice smell. Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh. Yes, it is the most glorious. So <laughs> glorious. I'm Amjid Khan. It is the most glorious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he knows what? how to sell a coffee, I'll tell him that. <laughs> yeah. I'm a massage room. You could sell ice to the Eskimos, my friend. <laughs> I'm a gentleman of Pakistan. What's happening? You're warming yes. up the cups, yeah. it's, uh, so they're not cold. The cup is cold. Then I can warm water too. Then I can serve you. Ah, I see. Yes. I see. The... How long have you had this shop? How long? Uh, maybe 2017 started to it. Okay. Uh, the the first memory, the first rock started this guy. Ah, the first so this man. This one is Australian people. From first where? Rocks. From where? From uh, Australia. Australia. Uh, women to paint this cup. Wow. Start this guy. So that my memory and my shop is set up there. 2017. Nice. Okay. Okay. Wow. So he scoops up the ingredients into the cup. This is the coffee. Then the milk. And then the milk. Oh, look at that warm. Warm milk. milk. Oh. Yes. Shukriya, Johnny. Shukriya, John. Damn. Coffee. Yeah. It is the most. You can wow. shake full it. Look at that, guys. Yes, you can full shake it. Shake it. Okay, just uh, put it down for two seconds. Thank you. Guys, gonna go for the taste test. Kind of looks like a cappuccino slash hot chocolate latte, all in one. Wow. Ah, Pakistan man. Ah, oh, zabardast. That is zabardast. Zabardast of Pakistan. Oh, guys. That is hitting the spot. Making me forget about all the dramas of today. Oh yeah. Such a good dancer. <laughs> wow. Guys, we're getting the full experience here. Oh yeah, it's very good, very good. It almost looks like a uh, Hey guys, just having the last sip now. 
so good, honestly, so good. Shobash, thank you very much. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Bye bye. Allah Hafiz. Okay, guys, so that was. Uh... Bye bye. Bye bye. Long life. You again. See you soon. Bye bye. So that was um, 350, but I gave him 500 because he was a really nice guy and put on a little show for us. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish the video there. Had a really cool experience at the Husseini Bridge. Obviously, things didn't go as planned with my drone, but sometimes you just got to get on with it. These things happen, and there's no point crying about it. Um, obviously, I've got, hopefully, I think my insurance will cover it. But uh, yeah, it's a big loss. Uh, luckily, it's at the end of my trip. So I have some of the footage on my laptop and all the other footage from the rest of the trip I've already put on my hard drive. So these things happen. You just got to get on with it. It was out of my control. Well, it was very much in my control. But now, now that it's crashed, it's out of my control. So just got to, uh, you know, get on with it. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.